FBI experts are studying an unexploded bomb created by al-Qaeda intended to blow up an American airline, an airliner bound for the United States. CIA agents in Yemen broke up that bomb plot. The government says no planes were ever in danger. Senior correspondent and former deputy director of national intelligence, John Miller, is here. Good morning. Good morning, Erica. This was part of a global effort involving a handful of international intelligence agencies, including the CIA, tracking the bomb and the bomber, who is reportedly in custody. The plot targeted planes bound for the United States using a new and improved version of the underwear bomb. That was the device used by Umar Farouk Abdul-Muttalib during the failed attempt to blow a jetliner out of the skies over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. They keep trying to devise more and more perverse and terrible ways to kill innocent people. What this incident makes clear is that uh, this country has to continue to remain vigilant against uh, those that would seek to attack this country. Uh, and uh, we will do everything necessary to keep America safe. The plot is believed to be the handiwork of Ibrahim al-Asiri, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula's master bomb maker, who was also behind the attempted cargo bomb plot where explosives were hidden in printer cartridges bound for Chicago two years ago. Al-Qaeda is agile, resourceful, coming up with new ways of coming after airline security, and we shouldn't expect that we're always going to be one step ahead of them. The White House said President Obama was informed in April. That raised questions about how, on the anniversary of bin Laden's death, officials said there were no credible threats against the United States as this very plot was unfolding. But sources told CBS News they had enough controls to ensure the attack would not go forward. That said, I think one of the worries that counterterrorism officials had in this case and will have in any other case that emerges in the future is whether or not there are others like it that are on the horizon that we don't know about. Now let's talk about where this plot is coming from. This is Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, or AQAP, operating out of remote areas of Yemen. This is the group that Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda designated to take the lead in launching an attack against the U.S. and Great Britain targeting planes. This is their third plot targeting U.S. soil. And there's every indication they intend to keep going. And it's evident that they've got the top bomb maker involved in this and that they're developing more sophisticated bombs. You know, Charlie, in some measure, this all boils down to one person, uh, Asiri, the bomb maker. Um, making bombs is not that difficult. It's the, the, the technical part of it. It's the creative touch, he adds, mm. how they're concealed, how they're conceived. The printer bomb, for instance, was was considered by bomb technicians around the world to be a brilliant stroke. Um, so it boils down to one person, but one very dangerous person. And when did they exactly detect this bomb and know of its existence? They say a month ago they advised the president. Okay, so when you look at AQAP, this is a group that is targeting the Saudis, it's targeting the Brits, targeting Yemen, and targeting the United States. So there you have four uh, very capable intelligence agencies that have a laser focus on this group and compare notes. And they have been looking at them now for a period of years. And when those notes all come together that something is afoot, they combine resources. And I think what we saw yesterday um, is, is the result of an effort involving multiple intelligence agencies.